Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Interesting title today, guys. We're gonna react to a Jewish child causes more than 6,000 Jews and Christians in France to convert to Islam. By the channel, Kari Osama Abdel Fattah. All right, let's jump right into the video. Just do me the favor as always, guys. If you enjoy the content, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box. We have merch and much, much more for you there. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. With no further ado, let's have a look. Hi, everyone. This true story, which happened more than half a century ago, is about a 10 years old Jewish child who lived in France. There was an old man who used to work in a shop. This man of Turkish origin lived in France, and his name was Sheikh Ibrahim. He worked in a grocery store selling goods and many people would usually buy from him. This grocery store was in a building and in one of its apartments lived a Jewish family. This family had a 10 years old little boy named Jad. This child would always go to the shop to buy from this old sheikh and every time he bought something. He would steal small chocolates and hide them among the things. All the sheikh Ibrahim knew about him. He would always keep silent with a jovial smile. And in one of the following days, as Jad visited the shop, he forgot to steal the piece of chocolates. So Sheikh Ibrahim said to him, you steal these chocolates every day, though you forgot to take it today. The child knew that he was guilty and that the Sheikh knew about his wrongdoings. He got scared and asked, do you know about me? Yes, I know, said the Sheikh with a smile. Jad then said to him, what will you do with me? Will you inform the police about me or will you tell my family? No, but I have one condition, said the Sheikh. Jad said, what is it? Sheikh Ibrahim then said, my condition is that you don't steal from me or anyone else from today onwards. And if you promise me this, I'll forgive you. I promise you, said Jad. Sheikh Ibrahim said, well, then go and I'll give you chocolates every day without you having to steal it. The child had never felt this type of joy, at least for him. If it were someone else, he would have scolded him, shouted at him, and kicked him out of the shop, but he treated him in this manner. The mercy. child loved this old sheikh. He bought things from him every day, and would talk and joke with him on the daily. The child became attached to this sheikh. The years passed, and the child grew little by little, and became a young man. And as young people in Europe are going through problems, Jad would have the solution for his own problems and hardships. He would turn to home to the old sheikh. He would sit down with him and complain and tell him about the worries in his chest. So neither his father nor his mother and friends could benefit him like this sheikh. And when the young Frenchman arrived and sat down, he started to complain about his distress. The sheikh then told him to wait. When he came back, he arrived with a box. He opened the box and brought out a book for him. Jad didn't know the story of this book. Sheikh Ibrahim gave the book to Jad and told him to open any random page. Jad opened the page and told him to go ahead. Sheikh Ibrahim then started to read and as they read the two pages, he explains them to Jad and finds a solution to the problem through the two pages. As Jad was wondering what this book was, he thought to himself, if I had a problem and opened any two pages, I would find the solution. One day, as Jad visited the shop, he realized that the sheikh was absent. Jad asked about him and discovered that he was sick and in the hospital. It was only a few days ago when that man, Sheikh Ibrahim al Turki, died that day. Before he died, he told his children to not open the box and instead give it as a gift from me to that young man whose name is Jad and say to him, This is a gift from Sheikh Ibrahim. When young Jad came sadly to console his friends and the children of Sheikh Ibrahim, they took to him to his side and told him, Our father gave you a gift before he died. He hadn't known that it was the Quran. As days and weeks pass, Jad would fall into trouble and hardship. But this time he didn't know who to turn to. Sheikh Ibrahim had died. Whom should I go to? Jad remembered. But meanwhile, he has the book from which Sheikh Ibrahim took his knowledge from. And went to the box and opened it and took out the book. Jad didn't know until now that it was the Quran, but he didn't know how to read it. He went with this Quran to search for one of his Arab friends. And luckily he found a Tunisian friend in France who knew Arabic and French. He told him, this book I want to read two pages from it. Can you open it and explain it to me? The man agreed and opened two pages and started to translate it to French. 
As the pages were translated, Jad started to cry because he found the solution to his problem in those two pages. Jad said in confusion, what is this strange book? The man then said, no, this is our book, a book from God. It is the Quran, the book of Muslims. To whom is this book? Jad said, God sent it down to our Prophet Muhammad and it became a light and guidance for the world, said the man. At that moment, Jad knew that this Quran was the solution to all his problems for many years. Jad then told him how to become Muslim. He told him to repeat after him. It's really so extremely powerful because it brings me back to when I opened up the Quran for the very first time. Back then, my problem was that I cannot accept the Trinity. I was struggling with my own faith. So I opened up the Quran in order to debunk Islam. Those were really my malicious thoughts back then. However, my true problem was, of course, that I couldn't accept the Trinity, that I didn't feel at home anymore in my own quote unquote religion. And this is why I opened up the Quran. And God knew that. And when I started reading, I, of course, saw right away that the Quran was the solution. The Quran clarified all my doubts. It said say no to Trinity. It was so crystal clear. It redirected my focus, my worship onto one God alone. So therefore, yes, the Quran fixed all my problems right then and there. I bear witness that there is no God except Allah and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Jad officially entered the religion of God, Islam. Jad was in his 20s at that time. And he began to learn Islam and became one of the best scholars to God in Europe. Marshall. And in a few years, 6,000 people in Europe embraced Islam at his hand. Wow. There had been a piece of paper inside the books that Sheikh Ibrahim had gave him. And on the paper, the Sheikh had written a verse which said, That is my way, I invite to Allah within sight. He then decided to travel to Africa and called himself Jadal al-Qur'ani. He remained for 30 years calling for God, and in those years he converted millions to Islam, because of whom, because of Sheikh Ibrahim, the owner of Good Manners, and the owner of the shop. Jadal passed away in two And this is so extremely important. The whole emphasis here is, of course, on good manners. And I know that in one hadith, I'm paraphrasing here as well, Prophet Muhammad speaks about that he came to perfect the character or something on those lines, ultimately saying that it is all about righteous character, all about good manners. Because like this, we are representing Islam to the world. Habib Nurmagomedov said as well that the non-Muslims, they're not reading the Quran, they're not reading hadith, they are reading the the Muslim. They are seeing the Muslim, how the Muslim is representing himself and like that representing Islam, of course. I told you the story a million times, but for people that haven't heard it still, I grew up in Germany and in Germany I grew up around Muslims that were not practicing at all. Quite the opposite was the case. They were dealing drugs, they were involved in prostitution and what not, all kinds of haram things. And this is how I saw Islam. I saw it as something criminal, something violent, something dirty even. May Allah forgive me, but this is how I perceived it. And this was due to the Muslims, quote unquote, that were representing Islam. So therefore, character is key. 2003, about 20 years ago, and he was the reason for the entry for millions of people to the true religion of God, Islam. The advice I have for you, dear brothers and sisters, is to read a few pages of this miraculous book because I am sure it will have a positive impact in your life. I am absolutely convinced that the majority of people, of course not all, some people's heart is just closed up forever, but the majority of people, if they would only open up the Quran, they would see what Islam truly is. Please like, share and subscribe. Alright guys, and this is it for today's video. As I said throughout the video, this is a reminder of character. As Muslims, we are representative. You really have to understand this and remind yourself every single time that you are interacting with the outside world, especially if you're living in a non-Muslim country, you are representing Islam. Everything you do will be seen as the Muslim did it. This is how people see it. We are simple beings. We have to label everything. We put things into boxes in order to understand them. This person is Chinese. This person is black. This guy is a Muslim. This is a Jew. This is how we operate. And therefore, everything we do will be seen through that 
filter. If I go outside and I beat innocent people up, those people then will have a connotation with guys that have a bold shaved head and a beard as violent. They will believe that people with a shaved head and a beard are evil people. So if I want it or not, yes, I'm Bobby, but I'm representative of guys with a shaved head and a beard. It is truly that simple. But who cares? That is just a look. We are, of course, talking here about Islam, the religion of God. When we are representing the religion of God falsely, we are committing the greatest sin. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. If you want to support this channel via Patreon or via buying merch, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. And as always, guys, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.